Hey everyone, this is Ryan Mitchell with thetinylife.com. I wanted to do this video uh, because um, I found this this uh, software here I'm going to show you to be super useful. It's web-based uh, and it's called Trello. Um, and this is a tool that I have used to kind of radically change and uh, very effectively improve my life. Um, I, I've used several tools in the past and they've always kind of just dropped off uh, in, in their usage. I just, you know, I liked them in the beginning or there was just some problems with it or I just never kept up with it, things like that. But Trello was one of those ones that stuck for me uh, just because I felt that uh, the price is right, which is uh, in many cases free. Uh, it's, it's super flexible, so I could do a lot of with it. It integrates with a lot of different things, which for m many people uh, you don't need. But if you're kind of a technical person or do web stuff or things like that, uh, it you know works very well with that kind of stuff. And uh, it was simple enough, but it, it had enough of the features. So it was like the, the perfect mix of simplicity versus function. Uh, and so it had the bells and whistles that really made it functional. Uh, but didn't get so much that it was overwhelming. Uh, so first off, I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, Trello is uh, at Trello.com, but there are several alternatives that I kind of will point out. All these I've used, and um, I, I found that a lot of these were those the cases that they were just too complex. They were great pieces of software or websites, uh, but they they just didn't quite hit home on enough things for me or they were too expensive in the long run. I didn't use them or I kind of dropped off. Uh, so the first one here is Asana and this is definitely in the kind of web development app development kind of uh, camp, if you will. And, and most of the ones that I'm going to show you here are, uh, I found this to be uh it was a very good program, but it just had way too many bells and whistles. And I could see if you were doing serious web development, how this would be a really good tool. But for most of us, we don't need all that stuff. And in fact, it gets in the way. Uh, plus, I, there's um, some pricing that I didn't like. Uh, so it was more complex than I needed. Another one is Basecamp. And this is a very popular one too. Uh, it does cost some money. And uh, while I, I liked it, it was more on that development side uh, again. Um, and it was a little bit more complex. Plus, I really don't like their user interface. It was just a little clunky for me. Uh, it just, just didn't, didn't work for me in the long run. The next one is Slack. And, uh, you know, Slack has this cult following where basically instead of email, you use Slack. This is great for teams or groups or things like that. I just found this not to be the right paradigm for me. Um, some people, like I said, really like it. Other people um, just don't get into it. Uh, the thing that I don't like particularly about Slack is that I found it hard to kind of keep up with things. You can, you know, tag and search and, and organize and all these kinds of things. But I, I felt like it, it, things were never as accessible as I wanted them to be. Whereas in Trello, I found them to be um, much easier to grab hold of, work with, find, things like that. Um, Slack is is just not the, the kind of thing. And it's, you know, often billed as like, you know, bringing teams together to replace email. And I just found that it didn't replace email at all for me, um, even when I wanted it to. Uh, that email has its place and it does it well. Um, so uh, those are some of the alternatives that uh, you might consider to Trello. Um, but for me, and I think for a lot of folks who want something to kind of organize their lives and their work uh, without like this huge learning curve, Trello is kind of it. So uh, that was a, a bit of a lengthy intro to why I chose Trello, uh, but in the next video, I'll show you kind of how to use it.